It's an easy cliche to say that we should tailor our games to suit our audience, but hey, the education sector covers everything from kindergarten through postdoctoral and professional development like we're doing here. We need a structure to simplify this. Well, the United States government offers a free service to help us do just that. The ONET is an online listing of characteristics of thousands of jobs. This project was started years ago as the U.S. Bureau of Labor's Dictionary of Occupational Titles. Around 30,000 job titles had each been rated according to the skills required for the job and how the job matched people's interests. The interests model is based on the work of John Holland and is useful for broad classification because it is our learners' interests we are trying to engage by using different educational methods. So it would be very hard to find a better catalog of tasks that we might want to gamify, matched with precise breakdowns of skills and interests of the learners. The Holland RIASEC model used in the ONET correlates with other personality measures. It forms a circumplex, which is a forced framework of dimensions like a color wheel. This force fits to the entire career spectrum. Each interest shades into the other and each dimension has a polar opposite. Sometimes the opposite will be our focus. The six Holland dimensions are as below. This reduces to two main dimensions, an opposition of people versus things and data versus ideas. This doesn't mean that practical people are unsociable or vice versa. Rather, it means preference for things or people aspects of a job. Just as a person can like both opposites such as yellow versus purple or red wine versus white wine, a person can have a liking for both people and things. A nurse, for example, has to deal with both people and machines. A car seller needs to deal with cars and customers. As we said throughout this course, we shouldn't waste games on things that are already popular and easy to learn. That's why, once we classify a task and target for game development, we should look at the opposite ends of the spectrum as well. For example, a mechanic who is already good with the cars might benefit from a game role-playing dealing with customers. An ideas person might benefit from seeing what goes on behind the scenes to make the dreams come true, collecting the data. A metagame may be able to take in all of this with gamelets assigned to the components. For example, the overall metagame might be to set up a social service facility. Social service is at the people end. But going around a circle first requires us to explore funding and business arrangements. We may need demographic data to estimate service demand. We may need to design or purchase transport and buildings. These services commonly need a theme or even a creative angle. So the metagame of setting up a social service facility can involve the whole spectrum of gamelets. For homework, think of an all-embracing metagame theme that might involve different aspects of this Holland model.